All right, good morning everybody. Welcome to another round of coffee and questions. What's today's topic? Let's talk about step drill bits. Ones that you can get from Harbor Freight and then one I bought online which is the Irwin. And what are the differences? Which one's better quality? Well obviously the Irwin is and out at Harbor Freight you get Hercules, Bauer, Drillmaster, Warrior. Now how would I rank these from out at Harbor Freight and in the club? Well I would tell you the Warrior and the Drillmaster probably a little bit on that low lower level quality wise but it still cuts um, it just doesn't cut as well I don't think as the Hercules or the Bauer because out of the club they tended to cut a little bit better maybe because they've got cobalt in them so the lower end ones I have I can show you right here I got that three set or uh, I don't know where the third one is these two are the same this one I tore up uh, why did I tear it up because I incorrectly used it on a piece of fairly thick uh, steel and I shouldn't have done that these mainly you know as far as I'm concerned you know are meant for like sheet metal plastic aluminum stuff like that and not so much for thick steel if you're gonna go you know into eighth inch or more you're really pushing your luck with the cheaper drill bits you should actually instead of a you know step drill bit find another way to make that hole but you know this is what I used I tore it up you can see right here and then I ended up getting another set so does it cut good it cuts fine okay but I learned some lessons along the way and from a friend you know who told me there's a few things that you can do one set your drill press on slow speed on a low speed use good cutting oil and go up and down slowly and take your time and if you start to see it smoke a little bit it could be the oil but it's also letting you know you're heating this thing up I mean pretty damn good so slow down okay and then I bring it back up I drench it with more oil I go back down I take my time and this set has lasted me quite a while but I'm an intermittent user now when I was using the step drill bits a lot I was doing some reconstruction work at home and I was redoing you know, the electrical system the electrical boxes and so forth I had a friend of mine that gave me as a gift one of the ones from Irwin now these two are from Irwin they're the smaller ones uh, I've got larger ones that are from Irwin too I'll leave you the links below what is it that I like about the Irwin bits the Irwin bits actually cut in both directions it'll cut in the forward and it'll also like if it binds on you and you stopped your drill press you can put it in reverse and it cuts the other way also they also are made out of a higher quality material in terms of you know the steel themselves and so they're going to last you a lot longer but they're also more expensive so slow speed good cutting oil and just go about this slowly and these actually these inexpensive ones or I'm going to say they're inexpensive from Harbor Freight have actually lasted me and I'm still using them so let's take a look I'm going to show you a demonstration over here on the drill press of both of these and then you know we'll go over to questions and answers okay so we made a small pilot hole this is some pretty you know thin walled it's rectangular steel but uh, it's good enough to go ahead and demo the step drill bit let me switch over to the harbor freight one let's see what happens So there's four steps in and I didn't go in any deeper because I'm going to show you the other bit from Irwin in just a second. But you can see that did a pretty nice job. Let's see if we can take a peek here. Right there. Did a good job. 
test the other one, huh? See those little curly cues coming off of there? Don't ever reach up and grab them. They will cut the crap out of you, okay? Use a brush, use a piece of wood, anything else. All right, let's switch over. Let's try the Irwin bit. Here we go. Now this Irwin bit, I couldn't find the larger one to match the size, but the Irwin bit, does it cut faster? Yes. Does it cut smoother? Kinda. And it does have two cutting surfaces, one in forward, one in reverse. So if you got stuck in there and you reverse this, there is a cutting edge over here and it would cut the other way. But it has got a nice smooth clean cut. Using the Harbor Freight ones correctly, you'll get longevity out of them. You'll get a lot of use out of them. Other people burn them up. They don't use them correctly. All right, so there's the one that we cut with the Harbor Freight right there. And by going low speed, taking my time, making sure the bit stays cool, use plenty of cutting fluid, cutting oil, like I said, WD-40. Anything you got laying around would work. WD-40 is not the best choice. It's a poor lubricant. It's meant for water displacement. That's what the WD stands for. But you can use anything else. Use a good thick motor oil and take and get yourself some cutting fluid. I'll leave it in the link below, but there's the one up here. And I'll leave you the link. This is the one that that Irwin did. And hey, it turned out good. It cut smoother, cut nicer, went right through it. And remember, it's got the both cutting edges. It's got one in forward and one in reverse. So if you get stuck, it can actually cut in the, you know, the rotating direction, the other direction. Clockwise, counterclockwise cuts. Great bits. Okay, I'm glad that I have them, but there's nothing wrong with the Harbor Freight ones. You'll get plenty of use, plenty of longevity out of them as long as you use them correctly. Make nice holes. Bolt drops right in there. You don't have everything all chewed up. Um, do I always drill a pilot hole? You were watching some of my past videos uh, before I use these. Yes, I do. Now, it's a matter of habit, and I'm not in a rush. I'm not in a production mode. I always drill a pilot hole first. Then I go and I switch over to the step drill bit, and they work fine. Now, I know some of these have got like a finer point on them, and they say that you don't have to. I do, because that way I don't get any walking, and I don't get that jerk wobble or that traveler, or however you want to term it, when I come down onto that sheet metal. So yes, I always drill a pilot hole. Good point, I'm glad you brought it up, actually. Um, no, I use good cutting oil to answer your question. I'll leave you a link below, but even when I don't have it, I use a good thick or just, you know, a motor oil or something like that. But no, don't use WD-40. WD-40 is for water displacement. It's actually a poor lubricant. Would it work, I suppose, but it's not the one of choice. I have plenty of other oils laying around, whether it's Marvel Miracle Oil or transmission fluid, whatever. I always use something better. I don't use WD-40 to answer your question, no. Um, regarding the bits, can you resharpen these? You can try with a diamond file. Um, I mean, to go ahead like along this groove and you can try to use a diamond file. I have personally not had good luck, I mean, doing that. These are inexpensive enough to where when I tore that one up I told you about, I just went out and I bought another set, I mean, really, and then using it correctly, you know, it's withstood the test of time for me. But remember, intermittent use on these and they're still holding up. Whereas when I was doing the construction work, I was drilling out a lot of electrical boxes and stuff like that. And then I used the Irwin and it, it still stays sharp even to today. Uh, question, why would I spend the money on the Irwin when I can buy these inexpensive sets? Well, if you're an intermittent user, I agree with you. But if you're going to use them to any degree, I bought the Air ones because you're going to spend equally that amount in these lower end quality bits in a short period of time. So it was a lot better for me to buy the Air ones. Like I said, I've used them for I don't know how long and they're still holding a good edge on them and they're still sharp. Um, instead of a pilot hole, why not just use a punch? Well, yeah, you can. I'm not saying that you can't do it that way. I just find the pilot hole to be more convenient and it's just a protocol I follow. But if that works for you, I think that that's fine.
Um, what about going through stainless steel? Okay, like, you know, for plastics, for lots of materials, these bits that I'm showing you work fine. I mean, if you're gonna go through stainless, I would get a much higher quality made bit, I think is what I'm trying to say. You'll burn these up. I mean, stainless is gonna be much, much harder to go through, not impossible. You might get, you know, I mean, a few uses out of them at best, and then you're gonna go, wow, they're dull. You know, they're crap. Read lots of criticism on these Harbor Freight bits. I mean, and people just don't use them correctly. An example of that, when I was out at the club, you know, another guy said, no, they're pure junk. I mean, here, take a look at them. And he did the same thing I did. Um, let's see if I can show you here a little bit better. He tore the bit up. Well, why did he tear it up? It's because he's using it incorrectly. We went over and watched, he's going, the drill press was going way too fast. He wasn't really using enough cutting fluid or cutting oil and this bit was just smoking up a storm when he was showing me see he told you it's a piece of crap you know it's no good blah 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 and I'm like well there's a couple of things I mean the first thing is you're using it incorrectly and I just said for me I drill a pilot hole slow speed good cutting oil I go up and down I take my time and they've lasted me and here's I'm going to show you the drill press in a minute but I mean here's a close-up if I can you can take a look here and you can see now this the bigger hole was done with one of these inexpensive bits from Harbor Freight I think it works totally fine and I would buy them again for me and my intermittent use it's a nice cost savings okay but if you're gonna use them over and over again like I said when I was doing that then I went for the more high quality bit okay so like in summary I mean what would I tell you I would tell you for intermittent use there's nothing wrong with the Harbor Freight bits just remember you know your Hercules your Bauer are gonna be the more top end and then you know the drill master and the warrior whatever these other brands like I have here they're gonna be the lower end they still work they'll still get you by not a problem nice cost savings I mean that's kind of my take on this whole thing but I will leave you the links in the description below for the cutting fluid and the Irwin bits I would tell you at least take a look at them yes I'm an Amazon affiliate and like I've always said what little bit of money uh, on those commissions it feeds the stray animals that hang around my shop here uh, I got some stray cats and you know I keep buying them food and stuff like that and they hang out with me and keep me company um, last thing somebody says what is uh, what's up with the sunglasses well I'm gonna be wearing these for a while because I had eye surgery and they had to do these corrections and stuff so uh, my eyes are a little bit swollen up so the sunglasses help uh, you know in terms of brightness and all of that so that's why I'm wearing them so in conclusion I mean what would I tell you I would tell you take a look in the links below I mean read about these I'm sure there are a lot of other good step drill bits out there that are equally as good these are just the ones that I have and the ones that I own and out at the club the ones that the guys have used out there Bauer like I said and Hercules a little bit better but I mean Erwin is you know my go-to that's just me I'm sure that there's lots of other good manufacturers if you know of something better you know drop it in the link below otherwise I'll see you folks on the next video we're gonna get back into some how to's pretty soon if you have any thoughts on something that you want to see me do I mean drop it in the comment below we've been doing lots of product review stuff I know but time to start getting back into some projects uh, just as soon as I heal up a little bit better I'll see you folks on the next video thank you very much bye bye